Many of y'all already know that I adore crystals, that I consider them some of my family members. <laughs> yes, that's serious. <laughs> However, recently, it has come to me. In particular, I saw a piece that I had saved on my blog. And the other day, I was looking for something else, and I came across that piece. And the woman who wrote the piece had mentioned about going on crystal diets. I was like, oh, no, I cannot imagine going on a crystal diet. She was talking about 30 days. I was like, oh, shit, no. <laughs> so I kind of like didn't want to finish reading the article because I didn't want to attach myself to that. <laughs> However, when I was meditating, it kind of came to me that I needed to do a slight pushback on them as far as my embracing the crystals. And I didn't like hearing that, but I love to heed what I'm guided by the spirits that help me. So I couldn't be in denial. I, well, I could be, but I choose not to be because it's in my best interest to heed what they share. So I'll be daggone if about a day later I went on, I mean, I saw a post by someone on Facebook. I don't want to say his name on here because he may not want his name divulged. And this is going on YouTube. But he made a comment in his group about how some people, in essence, are leaning on not just crystals but other tools as crutches. And he was saying he hoped that people realize that we have to mainly have a focus on mentalism and some other things that he mentioned I can't readily recall. But it, it kind of like resonated with me because of the piece that I had just read like a day or two before, about the crystal diet matter. So I knew the universe was using what he had expressed to get my attention as well. So this morning, I got up and I did my meditation like I do every morning, and I did not use any crystals because I want to put a concentration on using my mental capacities more. And that's what I intend to do. And I'm going to continue to use and to buy crystals as well and to learn more about them, but to keep things in better balance and perspective. And there are a lot of people who are on budget situations where they cannot afford not just crystals, but other metaphysical tools and so forth, candles and incense. And so I just want to encourage you that when you put a concentration and emphasis on what you can do metaphysically in the mental realm, that is so much as far as energetic potency and power and impact. So just know that if you don't have any tangible material tools or instruments, then you can certainly dig in more to your mental capacities. That is so stressed because I'm feeling the need to stress it as a deep, serious matter. So congratulations, people who don't have all these tools and so forth and so on, because you don't need them. We don't need them. They are like accessories. It's like you can get dressed and put on an outfit and be fully clothed, but then you put on some accessories to accent and to enhance what you are wearing. Same thing in the metaphysical arena. You just use the tools and the incenses and candles and herbs and spices and whatever else is tangible as accessories but not necessities. I think that's important to emphasize. So I want to shout out to the person who put their post there, who put me in a place of pondering that we don't want to use these things as crutches and to rely on them and to be dependent on them. Just keep them in their places and love them and appreciate them and, you know, spend time with them and have gratitude for them. But remember their placements and be mindful that the mind, as the saying goes, is a terrible thing to waste. <laughs> so channel that more and you'll be amazed at how you can transform and transmute and ascend and further evolve simply by going into mind power zones. Thank y'all for listening. Bye now.